I've gotten to work a lot um, in my coursework through multidisciplinary engineering and also in my internships with um, consulting firms and with federal agencies. I've got to work directly at the intersection of privacy and technology and um, sort of international relations. Um, and having learned about all of those issues, I got really interested in the implications that emerging technologies like internet technologies or cyber technologies are going to have on people's privacy. And so we're already seeing that, you know, in the US we're having intense public debates over these issues. But when you think about authoritarian regimes um, like China or Iran, they aren't going to be having these discussions. They're not democracies, right? And so I'm really interested in working to help shape international law and international norms so that we can influence authoritarian regimes um, to use these technologies for the good of their citizenry and not against their own citizenries. Um, and so with that issue, the one I want to work on, when I come back from the UK after studying basically computer science and um, intelligence, right? So I'll come back and hopefully go to law school for um, intelligence law, international law, and cyber law. Um, and having studied that, I would love to go work at one of those institutions that has the power to shape international law. So there's not a huge list of institutions that can do that. One is the State Department, um, the UN, there's NATO, um, and then some other areas of government or maybe the private sector that can shape international law. But long term, yeah, I would love to help write international cyber law and policy.